God don't need no cowards on his team. God don't need no cowards on his team. Big shout out to the YouTube family and everybody around the world. God bless. I got this off of you, Mitty, man. God don't need no cowards on his team. And I want to respond back with you on this. And, you know, I love this because it ties in with what I was saying in my video on the, uh, the other video, I mean, on the, uh, how can you be that close to God and still doubt him? God don't need no cowards. Think about it. What can you do with a coward? Mm. Tupac Shakur said, I'd rather die like a man uh, than to live like a coward. Mm. He said a coward can die many deaths, but a soldier only dies once. And I think about Christ when he got on that cross. He could have came down, but he went through with it. I think about the followers of Christ and all they went through and how they was persecuted, tortured, and killed. And I think about nowadays how so many, and I'm talking, about, I'm talking to the Christian folks right now, call themselves to be so strong. Mm. Not everybody, though, but giving up on God, becoming cowards in the ministry. Let me just go on and hit this off real. God don't need no cowards in the pulpit. Mm. God don't need no, I'm sorry, minister of music, but God don't need no coward minister of music on his team. Mm. Excuse me, praise, te praise team leaders, but God don't need no weak praise team leaders. Congregation folks that's causing all the hell and stuck on tradition and religion, God don't need no weak mm, church folks in the congregation who's causing all this hell. Stop being caught up on this tradition and start following God. Oh, see, we too busy trying to tell you everything that Oh, we need to do this. We need to do that. Now we need to start following God. God don't need no kind of cowards on his team. Mm. He went on that cross. Oh, he went up there. He took them beatings. And we got the nerve to sit here and don't want to go through nothing. Like times ain't going to get worse and worse. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. But the long run, it's going to be so beautiful at the end. Oh, if we could just start studying. God don't need no cowards on his team. Oh yeah. See when I look at this, oh many man, I love this. I look at what's going on now. How the world is going just like the Bible said it would. But I find out more and more people are getting scared and scared. Just like I said in the other video, now we want to pray. Mm. When we should never stop praying. Everybody wanted to pray when 9-11 hit. Everybody wanted to get on one accord after Katrina hit. Everybody wanted to get on one accord after the earthquakes just hit in Japan. See, I'm getting sick of folks, and I pray for everybody that lost their loved ones. But I am getting sick of folks only wanting to pray when things get bad. Mm. Now we need to call on God. God don't need no cowards on his team. He don't need no cow. Excuse me, first ladies, but God don't need no coward first lady. No coward evangelists, no weak bishops, whatever you want to call yourself. You can't be weak in the army of the Lord. We got to stand boldly. And the sad thing is, instead, instead of coming close to one another, we started pushing each other far away from each other, and we started getting further away from God because we won't do his will. Stop being caught up in the way you've been running church for years. Stop being caught up on saying, this is my church. Oh, and the poor children. Good God Almighty. Best believe God was calling folks in the Bible at an early age. Look at, look at young weeping Jeremiah, prophet Jeremiah. Oh, that boy had a job to do. See, if we can line up and start doing the will of the Father, Jesus was 12 years old in there talking about, I must be about my father's business. And he was. Times is winding down. Time is winding down. And I know folks don't want to hear nothing about the great tribulation. We know that. But if you can't stand for Christ, the devil got you. You might as well get ready to join up and pass up with the devil. Because I can do all things. Not you for me. I. I'm using, I'm taking that first word. I. JT talking to himself. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. See, we too busy quoting these scriptures, but we ain't believing in these scriptures. See, it's easy to walk around and quote it. But can you line your life up with the word of God? Oh, salvation is what it's all about. Not about how good I can play the piano. Not about how good you can sing and play. 
Not about how good you can preach. It's going to be some great preachers going to hell. It's going to be some great minister of music going to hell. I'll speak real. I know nobody want to hear these type of things. God don't need no cowards on this squad. He don't. What can you do with a coward? People claim they got all this faith and be weak as I don't know what. Oh, yeah, I know who God is. I've been following him for 20 years. Have you been following him for 20 years or have you just been going to church for 20 years? God don't need no cowards on his team. The main reason I say that because 2 Timothy, I believe, it teaches us God has not given us the spirit of what? Fear. But what the Lord has given us is power. And he also gave us love and a sound mind. People don't want to hear about the Great Tribulation. If you are around in those times, if you can't stand for God right now because you got, oh, all oh, my houses, you got all this stuff in front of God, hey, it tells you, uh, I believe that's the book of St. Mark, me and many man was talking about the other day, if you're on the rooftop of your house, wherever you at, don't go back and try to get nothing. See, people don't want to hear stuff like this in these last and evil days. Don't be trying to run back and grab your fancy car you done bought. Uh don't try to run back and get all of them, them expensive clothes you done bought and try to save your six, seven hundred thousand dollar house, your million dollar home. Leave it, because it don't mean nothing. You better be concerned about this soul. You're gonna, boy, it's gonna be a whole lot of people wind up like Lot wife, mm, running back. Some folks right now can't stand. They would, they'll jump off the bridge and kill themselves if they know the mall. They couldn't buy nothing else out of the mall, like you were saying, Mitty man. Some folks would be ready to kill themselves if you took away they, they cars, they clothes, they cribs. They wouldn't make it. Well, that's what it's going to be like. Everybody going to be taking that mark of the beast going to be destroyed, brother. I know that nobody want to hear these type of things. How am I going to survive? How am I going to eat? How am I going to buy food? How am I going to do this? How am I gonna do well, you shouldn't even be worried about that because God... It's already taken care of us and always have. God don't need no cowards on his team. Mm. I like that too, Pop. I'd rather die like a man than to live like a coward. Woo! A lot of folks living secret lives right now. They claim to be all this about how strong they are with God. And I'm talking about pastors on down. He can't, he can't do nothing with a weak, a weak pastor in the pulpit. Oh, a weak pastor? Let me say this, I know somebody going to get mad, but a weak pastor, that comes with a weak church. Because if you got weak leadership, you're going to have a weak church. The body of Christ can't be weak. We need to stand boldly. And I know folks don't like videos like this, but oh well, it got to be said and it have to be done. See, his will is going to be done one way or another, whether you like it or not. Every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that he... Oh, I'm talking about he is Lord. Sad, it's sad. Many going to choose to go with the devil. They're going to choose it. Hmm. Oh, when they talk about mothers turning, daughters turning against mothers. Sons and daughters turning against their parents. Oh, it's going to get worse. We think this earthquake and thing is going on now. This ain't got nothing on what's really going to happen. Like I keep telling y'all, this is the beginning of the end of times. Expect it. Listen to what I'm saying. Expect it to get worse and worse. You can't be no coward. Mm. You can't be no coward. Papa JT was hitting on this bitch. Shout out to you, daddy. He was telling us. He, was, he just laid it out just like the word. <laughs> it don't take a rocket scientist to figure out the word of God. You don't have to have a college degree to understand the word of God. God never meant to confuse us because he haven't confused us and he never will confuse us. Why? Because he is not the author of confusion. He is the author of peace, love, caring, forgiving. Slow to anger, but don't make him mad. Uh-oh, I know, I know. He don't need no cowards. He don't need no cowards. You look at what happened to him. Look what they did to our Savior. Everybody that followed him, oh, look at the persecution, the torture, the killings behind the followers. I'm not talking about sinners and folks in the world. I'm talking about people who followed Christ and how they was killed. And you look at what they did to Christ. Mm. What greater love is there a man who would lay down his life for a friend? We too busy playing church. When I told you, you better look at overseas and what's going on. Look at the, look at the pastor that just got murdered for no reason. 
I tell folks in a minute, you can take my life, but you ain't going to take my soul. So I'm not worried about this fleshly body because when I leave here, it's going to be way greater than this right here. I'm not caught up in this, this body. I'm not caught up in this life. See, I want to see everybody on the other side. That's what I want to see. I want to see my YouTube family. I want to see everybody. Our job is, people, to get this word across. Maybe one lost soul can be saved. If we can get more than one, oh, hallelujah. It's hard. It's hard nowadays trying to get folks to come to Christ. When the house of God is so jacked up and destroyed, and we always over the news with mess. We always on the internet with mess. And we keep trying to draw folks in the church, and they don't want to hear it. They looking at what's going on. I told this dude the other day, he said, hell, I might as well stay in the world, man. I, if a Christian, being a Christian going to be like what I see going on, he said, to hell with being a Christian. Good God Almighty. And you can't even blame him half the time for what these folk, what a lot of folks are doing. God don't need no cowards. You got to be real. You got to be prayed up. See, people didn't catch that when Paul was saying, put on the whole armor. Put on that breastplate of righteousness. You're going to have to stand boldly every day. Defend, oh, the word of God. Stand up for Christ. You stand up for Christ, you will be killed. You will be. Look at what happened. I know folks hate stuff like this. That's why nobody want to talk about Revelation. When people talk about Christians being killed, nobody want to hear that. We want to hear what keeps making us feel good. Well, what you going to do after all of the feeling good goes down? Mm. What you going to do when your prosperity runs out? See, I don't look at prosperity as money. I look at prosperity as my soul saving, my health and my strength. I'm not caught up in money. I'm not caught up in begging folks. Begging folks for a blessing. Oh, man, it's way past this money issue that most people are basing their church on. Get past the begging the money and start talking about the soul saved. God don't need no cowards on this squad. Keep telling folks that. He don't need no cowards. If you, boy, you know what I look at, man, when I was doing things in the world, how terrible I was. But you know what? When I sinned, I was just like David. I sinned greatly. And I still slip up time to time. And that's the power of repenting. But if I did it, I did it well. Hmm. I tell folks all the time, if you was going to do something terrible, you did it and you did it to your best of your ability. But when they come down to doing things for Christ, we want to act like cowards. God doesn't need a coward on his team. Oh, I remember when you was in the world and how you, you stood up for stuff that was wrong and you, you did this and you did that. If I was going to get drunk, I was going to be the drunkest brother I can be. And didn't care about nothing. Well, see, when God converted me, oh, like Saul became Paul. Mm. Ro became Jerome. Stopped doing what Ro wanted to do. Couldn't do them things no more. Because why? Any man made in Christ is a new creature. All things start going away. Do they go away? They go away overnight? No. But see, God showed me I can't use you as a coward. I need you to be bold, just like you was bold in the world. Mm. Man, when I start cussing folks out, I cuss them out to the highest I can cuss them out. So now, why can't I stand in the Word of God and stand on His Word? The same boldness I had in the world, I got it way past. I, I'm way higher than the way I was in the world. I got even more bold than when I got into Christ because I said, this is the Heavenly Father who saved me. Look back over your life. You ain't got no business being no coward. Mm. God don't need no cowards on his team.